Good day, dear students. Welcome to Chapter Six, Polynomials. In this chapter, we mainly have three subtopics, which is six point one, polynomials, six point two, remainder theorem, factor theorem, and zeros of polynomials, six point three, partial fractions. In this video, we will be focusing on the subtopic six point one, polynomials. The learning outcomes in six point one is Perform addition, subtraction, and multiplication of polynomials. The second learning outcome is perform division of polynomials. Okay, now can you still remember these functions, students? A x plus b, a x square plus b x plus c. So this a x plus b is a linear function with degree one. We say this is a function with degree one. Because the highest power of x has the power one. Okay. Now for quadratic function, we call this a function with degree two, because the highest power of x is two. Okay. Now, how about functions with degree three, four, and five? Do they have special name too? Yes. Now let's look at the name for power three. Cubic is the name of the polynomial power three. And quartic is the name of the polynomial power four. For cubic, the degree of a cubic function is three, and the degree of a quartic function is four. Okay, now let's look at the notes. Degree refers to the highest power of x in a polynomial. Constant coefficient refers to the coefficient standing by the lowest degree. So constant that means there is no x. Leading coefficient is the coefficient standing by the highest degree. Let's look at example one. Let's say we are given polynomial four x plus three. The degree of four x plus three will be one. Okay, this is the highest power of x. The leading coefficient is the person that multiplies the highest power of x, which is four. Followed by constant term is the person without x, which is three. For the second, four x cubed minus ten x plus five, the degree will be three. Leading coefficient is four, and the constant term is five. For six minus seven x plus three x four minus two x to the power of seven, if you notice, the highest power is seven. Therefore, this is a polynomial with degree seven. The leading coefficient is the person that multiplies the highest degree, which is negative two, followed by constant term with the lowest power of x, which is six. Okay, students, can you understand degree, leading coefficient, and constant term? Okay, I hope you can understand this. Now let's look at the algebraic operations on polynomial. In this video. We will be covering addition of polynomial, subtraction of polynomial, division, and multiplication. Let's look at example two. Given p x is two x to the power of four minus five x cubed minus four, and q x is x to the power of four plus x cubed plus three x square plus four x. Determine p x plus Qx. Now, let's try with the first example here. Px plus qx. First, we're gonna write down the polynomial px, which is two x four minus five x cube. If you notice, this polynomial do not have x square, so I'm going to write it as zero x square and also zero x followed by negative four. So I'm going to make sure that I write all the powers involved in p x. Next, we're going to add with q x. So q x is x to the power of four plus x to the power of three plus three x square plus four x, and the constant term is zero. Now we're going to add these two polynomials. So what happens when Negative four plus zero. We will start with the constant term. Okay. So what happens when negative four plus zero? 
we will be getting negative 4. Next, we are going to take 0x plus 4x. Okay, we are going to look at the term with x. 0x plus 4x will be giving us positive 4x. Followed by positive 3x square. Negative 5x cubed plus x cubed will be giving us negative 4x cubed. Followed by 3x to the power of 4. So students, this is the answer for px plus qx. 3x to the power of 4 minus 4x to the power of 3 plus 3x to the power of 2 plus 4x minus 4. Can you understand students how we add two polynomials? Okay, it's not that difficult. We just need to rearrange from the highest power to the lowest power and add the polynomial according to their powers. Next, we're going to look at subtraction okay students now let's see what happens when we try to minus two polynomial px minus qx similar to addition we're going to write down the polynomial of px which is 2x4 minus 5x cubed and we're going to write down the 0x square and also 0x exactly how we did for addition and now we're going to subtract with qx which is x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 3 plus 3x to the power of 2 plus 4x and there's no constant term so I'm going to write it as plus 0. So remember student what we are going to do here now is we're going to try to subtract. So first we're going to start with negative 4 minus positive 0. So this will be giving us negative 4 followed by 0 minus 4x which will be giving us negative 4x 0 minus 3x square negative 3x square followed by negative 5x cubed minus positive x cubed. So negative positive here will be giving us a negative value. Okay, negative positive here will be giving us a negative value. So negative 5x cubed minus x cubed, we will be getting negative 6x cubed. And 2x to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 4 will be giving us x to the power of 4. So finally, px minus qx. The answer is x to the power of 4 minus 6x to the power of 3 minus 3x to the power of 2 minus 4x minus 4. So this is how we do subtraction of a polynomial. Now these are the exercises that we have for addition, subtraction. Okay students, I hope you have achieved our first learning outcome from our first subtopic which is polynomials. So I hope that all of you are able to add subtract polynomials. That's all for today. Thank you students.